So what is up everyone, my name is Little Miran. we have some brand new information for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, of course, Call of Duty 2016, the next Call of Duty, we have some more information, confirmed information, if you will, from the whole sort of leaks spreading around the past 24 hours, we got a leaked image from somebody taking basically a picture for Snapchat of the new Call of Duty Infinite Warfare poster, and since before that we actually got a leak through the PS Store of the actual sort of branding and the title and stuff we were starting to see a pattern so we sort of knew the next Call of Duty was going to be called Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and today we just have that totally 100% 110% of anything confirmed we have an official HD poster from a Canadian store it's on your screens right now I'm not gonna put it on the screen too long just in case I do get copyrighted or anything for you but we're gonna be discussing it in depth and I want you guys to let me know every step of the way your opinions on all of this so first things first with the legacy edition it includes the Call of Duty 4 model Warfare Remaster. I presume that you can actually buy this separate when this game comes out, but you can actually sort of get the double deal if you purchase the Legacy Edition. Now, the Legacy Edition is the Infinite Warfare Standard Edition and the Modern Warfare Remastered with the campaign and 10 multiplayer maps. So that means it's minus the season pass. I presume it's going to be up another 50 if you are going to actually sort of get the season pass with it. The standard edition comes out at $80, pretty standard. That's about 70 euro or 60 pound or something like that. I'm not really sure. Whatever it normally is, it's pretty much the normal price. And then the big thing on screen is Call of Duty Infinite Warfare 4th of the 11th. 2016. That's obviously the 4th of November 2016, a pretty early release for a Call of Duty. It's normally around the 7th, the 9th, or the 11th, something like that. But the 4th is pretty early. Four days into November, we are getting this new Call of Duty. That is pretty fucking sick. Okay, now to sort of dive in a little deeper to all of these images on screen. Starting off, bottom right, I think Infinity Ward actually have a new logo without sort of the red eye. Pretty interesting if you want to take it like that. And some of the small print Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered contains only 10 multiplayer maps from the original Call of Duty Modern Warfare game. For more information, please visit callofduty.com slash mwr underscore faq. Now when you actually pop on over to that site, and nothing comes up, so it's sort of, sorry an error has occurred, the website hasn't actually been officially launched yet. And then underneath that, all the white print is sort of the year, the publishing, and all sort of the little terms and conditions apply crap. Now let's hop on into the big massive sort of left hand side of this HD promotional image, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, and we have a soldier with what appears to be some variant of the M4 in his right hand, and a space helmet in his left. A lot of people want me to point out there are no exos in this image and when this actually came out in low quality I was like ah oh, it's a helicopter behind them that's all good but it's actually a spaceship and I can't tell you what spaceship what model anything like that it's a spaceship looks like created for the game looks pretty interesting the way it flies and something like that it, it looks like a variant of a helicopter but I presume it's gonna be sort of compatible to fly into space obviously we have the whole space leak ages ago everything is rolling with it and my honest opinion from this image remember the image doesn't normally reflect too much in game but it does sort of reflect the whole idea I think this map is going to be based in the future but I don't think sort of weaponry has evolved as much as sort of the travel and the spaceships and stuff like that because when publishing a Call of Duty game it's so sort of easy to make up your own weapons and create a lot of variants and a lot of new things that people can really get excited about based on the future instead of sort of basing something on the past and having to go by a history book and by everything that was in the past you can't exactly make something up that was in the past because there's so many indications to sort of make it look fake or something like that so I think Infinity Ward want to play with the whole future element they haven't really done that in any of their games it's always been pretty much modern warfare it hasn't been anything futuristic but I think they are gonna hold a massive element of modern warfare in this sort of futuristic setting I honestly think a lot of people should give this game a chance I'm really really excited about it Infinity Ward are one of my favorite publishers and I loved all of the Modern Warfare games, minus Modern Warfare 3 because that was a bit dodgy, but I did play it a lot. And the fact now that Modern Warfare 1, Call of Duty 4 is coming back is just sort of getting me massively on the hype train 
for Call of Duty 2016. Just a tiny bit about the background behind the soldier, it looks pretty apocalyptic and it looks like this is actually taking place on Earth. So maybe the Earth is in ruins and they basically all need to get off the Earth, like sort of in Wally, -E, if you want to take it like that. But ladies and gentlemen, what I want to talk about now is some of the esports. I want you guys to let me know, do you think there are going to be competitions on Call of Duty 4 since it is now remastered and Infinite Warfare or do you just think sort of Modern Warfare is just for the casual player, not really competitive stuff, it's just going to be Infinite Warfare. Let me know what you think of all of this as well as raise some questions down below if you want to get a bit of a discussion going. I'm sure that we'll all have a bit of a discussion with you because the comment sections are normally sort of we reply to everybody and when I say we it's pretty much all you guys replying to people. So if you see anything that you find interesting definitely reply to it. I am going to leave it here. Of course do smash the like button if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more Call of Duty videos and without further ado I am going to leave it here. Once again peace out thanks for watching and I'll see you all in another video very very soon.